Boy the Android Doctor back again. This is a follow up video from my um, how to unlock the bootloader on the Motorola Moto G. So if you've watched that video already, um, you will have unlocked your Motorola G's bootloader. So you can pro proceed with this video now to root and install a custom recovery. Installing a custom recovery allows you to flash custom ROMs like Cyanogen, Modern, all different types of ROMs. So um, if you followed my previous video, like I says, how to unlock the bootloader, you should have everything still set up, your SDKs and everything like that, and your drivers and everything. So you can go ahead, like I says, and proceed with the next step, which would be to go into your settings, about phone and you'll need to tap the build number until it unlocks the developer options and then just go to developer options turn it on and make sure USB debugging is ticked okay so the next thing you need to do is you need to download this file I'll leave a link to it in the description down below and then just make a new folder call it superboot and then drag and drop the file the superboot file into there right click it and extract it here then it will make a folder like this which is called R2, R2 Moto G Super Boot. So just open that up. Okay, now put your phone into fast boot mode again. You should be familiar with fast boot mode because that's what you had to do when you was unlocking the bootloader. So to get into fast boot mode, just turn off the phone. and hold down the volume button and the power button for two or three seconds then just let go now you're in fast boot mode okay so find the blank space on here and you're gonna press shift on your keyboard and you're gonna right click on your mouse let me just do that real quick Okay, so you're gonna hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse and then select open command window here. And you should have a little black box what pops up. Okay, now connect your phone to the USB. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So once it's connected, it should make a sound and it should also say USB connected. Okay, so the next thing to do now is just where it says Superboot Windows, make sure it says Windows Batch File. Make sure it looks like this. Just drag and drop that into there. and then hit enter on your keyboard and now you, it should have rooted your phone, your phone should reboot if you get a purple and black screen like this, don't worry about that, that's pretty much normal unplug your phone and what you need to do is you just need to hold the volume up and down rocker and hold the power button until your phone switches off then just turn it back on and wait for it to reboot
Now just have a look and see if you've got the super user application. So I've got it, it's right there. Um, if you don't see the super user application the first time around, don't worry about that. Just simply do the whole process again. Just reroute it again. And second time around, I guarantee you'll see it. So anyway, we're rooted now. So next thing we need to do is, is install a custom recovery. So just go to the Play Store and type in recovery tools and install it. Open it up and select grant super user permission. Select I know the risk. See if I can just focus in. And then hit recovery. Select TWRP recovery. Reboot into recovery now. Yes, please. And there you have it, you have custom, you're rooted and you've got custom recovery on your phone now. So you can flash any ROM you want to flash. It's really that simple. So yeah. Um, this is just a quick video showing you how to root the Moto G and install a custom recovery. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you need help with anything, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below saying, Doctor, I need some help and I'll, I'll be sure to respond to you. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Deuces.